weighing at? Uh, probably about, you probably weighing about 145. 145, then. Yeah, so with seniors, work, he's working on that right hand during this time. In all fairness to every other father and son duo, the boxing business is a tough business for anyone, you know what I mean? Uh, to get in and to get to a high level and to stay at that level. And then you see his shirt right there, 2-0. and You see what it say, Devin Haney versus everybody. We are, we, that, was, that was our mindset. My dad has no boxing experience, um, and nobody that I, that I actually know of has boxing experience in my family. I, I didn't learn I didn't learn boxing until I came to Vegas. That was the fortunate thing that us living in Las Vegas and this being a boxing hub of the world that I was able to rotate the experiences. Most of the things that uh, we do, he's been introduced by some of the greats in the game. The Eddie Mustafas, the Floyd Seniors, Roger Mayweather, Virgil Hunter, Billy Giles. We've learned a lot from a host of uh, uh, great you know what I mean, professors that I call in the game to get to where we are. What makes him such a good trainer is because as much as I've been learning from each trainer, taking this and this from that each trainer, he's been learning as well. So the things I forget, he remembers. A lot of fighters, all they know is just fighting the inside. That's all they know is fighting the inside. You're gonna be a versatile fighter when you can beat him in the inside and outside. I would always approach the trainer and say, if you win, win and if you have some time, you know, can you, can you work with us? Some individuals would say that too many trainers are gonna spoil the suit. I thought different. I thought that Devin would take in what he wanted and then whatever he didn't like, he, he wouldn't use. We had a big chip, chip on our shoulders about, you know, just as a team, Devin as a fighter uh, at 2-0 around this time. But uh, one thing that Senior did is confirm Devin has it. Me and my dad, we just like, we got that bond in the gym, out the gym. Um, nothing really changed. It's not like a switch that goes on in the gym where he turns into a different person or nothing like that. Oh, uh, I have an amazing relationship with, with my son. Um, obviously, he's, he's 23 and, uh, and I'm 52. <laughs> so it's going to be a, a, um, a difference in experience. And, and with that, that's, that's what makes a relationship so good because we respect each other. And um, at the end of the day, it's, I got like a new millennial dad that's, you know, way evolving and, you know, he understands the, the man that I'm becoming. So uh, he respects it and, he, and he's grown with me. I've lived and have experienced a longer lifespan than Devin. So I've got a chance to see a, a lot of more things than him. So I look at it as a whole, as being, being a dad, you know what I mean? And, uh, trying to do everything that I can, you know what I mean? To, to have his back and not necessarily have his front. You know, he, he, he has that. I would say my dad hasn't missed that fight since I was like 10 years old. Yeah, so um, my dad has been there every step of the journey.